Right, I think it's time to do another flat art video. It's been a while and they are always good for some laughs. People often ask me. Oh, what the fuck is that? Can you retards please learn to format your videos like someone with a modicum of higher brain function? Oh, wait, never mind. I'll do it myself. There, much better. You're welcome, by the way. Now your video won't look like it was entirely edited by a chimpanzee with head trauma. What does it matter what shape the earth is? Well, apart from the countless fields of study that would cease to make any sense if the earth wasn't shaped the way it actually is, and would change our very understanding of reality as the study of physics would cease to be able to make any accurate and more importantly, useful judgments about pretty much anything. Does it affect my day-to-day -day life in any way? Well, the knowledge wouldn't, but the reality would. If the Earth suddenly became the big old pancake you believe it to be, you would notice all the dead you and everyone you know had become. As everybody not stood at the centre of the North Pole suddenly slams into the ground due to the monumental shift in gravity. After all, I still have to go to work, pay my bills, etc, etc. I'm sure if you didn't go to work, nobody would miss you. In fact, I imagine the general efficiency would go up as the average IQ in the building rises about 20 points. And they don't have to listen to your conspiratorial ramblings. And of course, while all that is still true, I always point out to them that we all perceive that the Earth is flat and motionless. I'm sure you've been told this time and time again. What you can perceive with your extremely limited senses cannot always give you an accurate picture of the nature of an object. The Earth is so big and you are so small that without tools, you could never hope to fathom its nature. Thankfully, a bunch of smart fuckers have done most of the work for you. They invented vehicles and measuring devices, both simple and complex, that would allow you to make measurements and test hypotheses till you could make your own accurate model of the Earth's shape. Of course, you won't do that. The one thing all conspiracy nuts have in common is an inability to test their theories. They make something up, assume it's true, and then they skip along to the next idea. It's what we as children inherently knew. Children are fucking morons. Or remind me, where are the countless children making groundbreaking discoveries in realms other than eating dirt, shitting themselves, and crying for no reason? Oh, I, I see why you think they're so smart now. Even though we may not have definitively defined it as such. Are you trying to say that you as an adult have? Because I would love to see your in-depth peer-reviewed scientific studies that totally exist. But then along came these authorities who told us that it's otherwise. With their evidence and data and all that other queer shit. And not just vaguely different than what we perceive, but so drastically different. That maybe they know something you don't? Nah, you know someone is smart when they could never admit to being wrong. Only stupid people are wrong! Than that which our empirical senses so consistently informed us. You are so unbelievably close to the Earth that without some kind of equipment, you could never, ever, ever hope to know. Imagine a beach ball, and on that beach ball is a bacteria, a creature so small that we could not see it without a microscope. That's a good idea of just how small you are compared to the Earth. Now let's give that creature the cognitive and perceptive functions of a human. Do you think it could ever hope to grasp the object on which it stands without making some kind of tools and measurements? At that scale, all it would see is a huge, flat plane leading to a horizon. It would probably assume its world is flat, and it would be just as wrong as you are. People argue, I'm not a pilot or a navigator. I don't fly planes or navigate ships. I don't send rockets out into space. I'm not an astronaut or a spacefarer or even an engineer for that matter. I don't even have a basic education. I never learned how to read or write. I fall down a lot. I struggle to put socks on. And I keep shitting myself whenever I breathe too hard. It doesn't matter to me whether the Earth is flat or a globe a triangle or a cube. It's actually none of those things. It's an oblate spheroid, but I seriously doubt you could comprehend that, so let's just go with something more your speed. It's a roundy roundy ball ball! To which my response is... Yeah, me am smart, you dumb ball earth believer! And then I imagine you just slap yourself repeatedly and uncontrollably. 
but you still observe a flat and motionless plane. Who gives a shit what I observe? What I measure is a sphere. The measurements are what matter, not my fucking near useless eyes. No matter where you go to measure or observe it. I seriously doubt you've ever done a minute of actual measurement or experimentation to come to your conclusion. Think about it. You first, cunt. If our teachers could lie to us and go so far as to convince us all of this stark falsehood, then we would be living in some kind of fucked up dystopia that we clearly aren't. I'm not even going to start on the scales of conspiracies. I'll just say, if it requires hundreds of thousands of normal people to be in on it, it's probably bollocks. Can you imagine what else might be a lie? Like your mum telling you the other kids are just jealous of the way you dribble when you talk. What other deceptions have we as a species swallowed wholesale simply because an authority figure has proclaimed it to us matter-of-factly? These types of videos always just tell us that they know better and won't go out there and do the studies. Seriously, there are a bunch of ways you can measure the curvature of the Earth. All you have to do is get off your lazy flat ass and do them. If you come back with the results opposite to everyone ever, you've probably just fucked it up. But hey, if you can prove your results are correct, you'll get a friggin' Nobel Prize. Good luck on that though. And not even the scientists and investigators themselves, but merely talking heads blindly parroting the lies to us. And what a shock it will be when every single scientist who comes to explain why you are so fundamentally wrong gets put in the blind talking head category. But then the ones come along and they agree with you, then they are the real science. Even if they work in completely unrelated fields that give them zero knowledge on the subject. But then I realized that this is the very reason people cannot accept it. Because once they acknowledge that they have been deceived on such a fundamental level regarding such a blatantly obvious fact, they would be forced to re-examine their entire lives and renounce the unquestioning faith they've invested in submitting to the establishment. Apart from the submitting to the establishment bit, this is exactly why woo peddlers and conspirators are often layers deep into multiple facets of pseudo-scientific bollocks and cannot possibly admit they are wrong. Me, I admit I'm wrong all the time and I go out of my way to correct my fuck-ups. It doesn't affect anything else because I'm only interested in being as accurate as I can be and I don't rest my identity on any particular idea. If it's wrong, it's wrong. It doesn't help me to believe in correct information, so it's discarded. You should try it sometime. I don't blame them. The truth is blindingly bright when you've spent your entire life asleep. Get woke, bitches! Those of us who have chosen to seek out truth mustn't condescend them, criticizing them for wanting to continue on in ignorance. Mustn't be condescending, I'm just better than these ignorant imbeciles. Now, where's my phrenology bust? Afraid that their well-maintained bubble of trust is about to burst. I don't trust people, I trust the scientific method and the useful results it has yielded, and the technology that has allowed to be possible. That's always a huge contention that I have with you people. You will bash the sciences constantly while using a piece of equipment that could never have happened without them. You're hypocrites and morons and nothing is more irritating than a self-righteous hypocritical moron. We must be empathetic. Whoop, you flubbed your line mate. Don't worry, I'll fix it. We must be empathetic. Much better. Considering truths that may lay ahead of ourselves, which we may not be willing to face up to. You know, basically the opposite of everything you currently believe. When you first find truth... Truth, in big quotes, and reality, seldom seem to mix. You will be troubled. But if you are troubled, you will then be amazed. Of course the rabbit hole goes far deeper than flat earth. That's just the first rung of the ladder. Told you, can't believe one retarded thing without believing a bunch of unproven, often untestable crap. It's better than ever admitting fault, I guess. That'd just make you a better person. Who wants to be correct when you can be an insufferable nutter? So keep on seeking out the truth, and do not cease seeking, 
until you find, for you will know the truth, and the truth will liberate you. Oh, how very inspirational. Well, when you find the truth, do me a favour and use it to make predictions about the nature of reality. Get back to me when a single one of them holds true. Till then, fuck off.